This video has been supported by these lovely people you see before you. With the support I get from my Patreons, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me give back to you guys so I can afford to do giveaways and tutorials more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel and get some great rewards. Enjoy the video. Welcome everyone to my feet paw tutorial. This tutorial will be starting out very similar to the hand paws where I carved the shape of the feet out of solid foam and taped it up to get the pattern. I trace this onto my fur starting with the toes which will be the shortest part of the fur. This is the pattern I use for all my feet paws so if you plan on making more than one set you can use the same pattern. I also trace and cut the ankle pieces onto the fur. You'll notice I flip my pattern each time I trace and that's so we can get a right and a left paw. I begin to shave the fur for the toe pieces. I try to get this as neat as possible and tend to take as much time as I can. Once that is shaved, I cut the toe pieces out. I do this with about a centimeter of seam allowance as I will be machine sewing these feet. Now I begin the process of sewing the feet together. I have my toes marked one through four, along with an A or B depending on which side they were traced on. So I sew the toes one to four together to start with. Once that's sewn, I then pin my toes to my ankle piece and sew around. I do believe I was streaming during making these feet paws, so excuse the slow progress. I then sew the back of the ankle together and repeat on the other side. I then cut the fabric for the slipper, which will sit inside our foot paw. Here we are using quilted broadcloth, and I use a basic slipper pattern in the size of the commissioner's foot, however whichever pattern you will want to use will work fine. Once that's done, I start sewing the slipper together. We want the right side of the fabric to be the inside of the slipper. I sew the two sides to the base of the pattern and then sew the sides together. Once the slipper is sewn, pin it to the inside of your foot paw and sew around the ankle piece. I give it a bit of a brush and then add some stitches to give the toes shape when I stuff them. I then repeat this on the other side. Let me show 
Next, I draft the foot paw bottom out of EVA foam by tracing around the base of my phone carve and cutting it out. I then grab some contact cement, or as I like to call it, cancer juice, and I cover the base of the slipper as well as the foot paw bottom. And wait till it is dry to the touch, then press the two together to join. Repeat for the other paw. Now I start hot gluing the edge of the fur to the edge of the foot pull base. I slowly work around the edges and leave a hole free for stuffing. Stuff as firmly as you'd like with polyfill stuffing and glue the hole shut. Repeat on the other side. I then contact cement another layer of thinner EVA foam on top, however you can use rubber or whatever you prefer to use. My camera cut out so I unfortunately missed that part. I then cut a strip of fleece and begin to hem the ankle of the foot. I lay it over and use a back stitch to secure. And that's about it. Some big plush feet paws for you to run around in. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Stay tuned for the final episode in the series where I show you how to make a digigrade bodysuit to complete the look. See you then.